Here I am yet again having a bunch of tapes on my bed. This time we're going to go through my bear tapes. And this is all courtesy of Dr. Sue's lover because he made a video showing all of his bear tapes. So it's all, I figure it's only fair if I show off all of mine since I made him go through the headache of going through his, although his is much smaller than mine. So let's go through them. They're going to be in random order. Um, this one I cannot show the back. It's got personal stuff on it. But let's we'll start off with this tape. Can't show the back of this one. This copy, this is a 2000 reprint of Volume 3. Well, I should just show all the Volume 3s together. My One of my favorite tapes. This is my childhood copy. Columbia Trust One Video logo. It's definitely the 2000 reprint. I can tell you that right now it's the 2000 reprint. It's the 37th week of 2001. It definitely is the 2000 opening. I verified. This is the one I couldn't find, and actually why I bought a different tape, which I'll show you in, a, in just a second. It's Clamshell. That's why I bought that one in 2016. But yeah, this is 2000 reprint. Volume 3, one of my favorites. That's why I wanted to get it. Here's another one. I bought this tape, because I didn't know what happened to this one. This is not the case I don't believe, but we'll get into that when I show another tape. Uh, here's the Volume 3. I added this number 3, because... Again, we'll get it when I talk about another tape. I added the three. That was not on the tape when I got it. I added it. I got this on eBay in January 2016. Five years ago I got this. Uh, because, again, I was really wanting Volume 3. Nobody really had it. In high quality and stuff, so I just wanted to get it myself. So, again, I, mean, I had no, no idea. It was the 98 copy. I just got it. This one was printed the 47th week of 1998. Pretty cool. It's got, here's the back of the clamshell. The answer that I will listen up. Awesome. It's one of my favorites. This was one of my favorite tapes. I watched this one endlessly, which is why I wanted it. I, I bet this and Volume 5 are the only ones I had of the volumes as growing up. There's this Volume 3. I want to show my other copy of Volume 3. This copy. Here you go. You might see, I got this tape a while ago. I got this back in November, two months ago I got this tape. I got this tape for $50 along with a couple other ones. One of them is up for sale. A Bear for All Seasons will not be seen in the video because it's up for sale. And the reason I put it up for sale is because it's in really, it's in terrible shape. Like What I mean by terrible shape, if you see my listing on Mercury, it's not, in t it's like it plays, but it's just really... It's going to fall apart one day, and I don't want to be the one that has it. I don't want it to break my heart, so I'd rather just sell it. And it would be less heartbreaking to sell it that way, to get rid of it that way. And have a break on somebody else. You know, not being heartless or anything, just better for me. And I can get some cash back to help me cover the costs of other purchases. January 12, 2001 is the print date of this one. Slip cover because again, Avon never used the clamshells. If you see an Avon with a clamshell, it obviously is a different case than the original one. You can also tell it's an Avon copy because of this FSC. On this copy, it does not have the FSC. See, here's the back. This one's actually in better condition than that other case. Dance of the day away, listen up. Yep. I had a long video ahead of me. Okay, let's go through this tape. This is volume four. This is actually the tape. This actually came in this volume, not this, this volume three case, but I swapped it when I found my original child copy. I figured I may as well put the volume three case in the correct one, so this volume four has just been without a case. Be that's why I numbered it. I put a little number. I put a four, because I had him out of a case for a short time. And I didn't know which one was which. I put this one in thinking it was volume 3 and it was actually volume 4. So I, I put a number. I can't understand why they just put a number. Saying it's, in the early prints didn't have a, the number. Like, what if you have the same one? Like, you want to know which one's which. So, I like how the reprint of volume 3 get, told you that. And the Avon copy is good at that too. But yeah, volume 4. Also, the I, uh, yeah, we'll go. I'll talk about that one. What I was going to say in the next bit. So that's volume 4. Alright, here are my other caseless tapes.
tapes safe and sound. I bought this for $10 on eBay. I got it with Dragon Tail Spools Cool, which I'll show on another video. I have like three copies of that tape. Um, my I had this tape growing up, but it, it broke in 2014. And I tried to fix it like I did with one of the other tapes you saw on stream. It did not work. I couldn't get it fixed. So the whole thing just was a big wreck. But yeah, here you go. You can see the... And that's a pet peeve of mine. It says Columbia Trust Home Video logo, but it actually is the Columbia Trust Home Entertainment logo. 17th week of 2001. So my guess is they probably intended to put the home video logo, and then they, it was just right around the change. Here's Early to Bed, Early to Rise. This is the only copy I had. I had two copies at one point, and one of them broke. This one is not the EP copy. It's an SP copy. This is the... The 18th week of 2001. Huh. This tape is old, newer than that um, safe and sound tape. But it has the Columbia Trust Home video logo. It's kind of interesting. This is probably around their transition time. That's why I say they didn't stop using until around June 2001. All of the Columbia Trust Home prints are home video prints. Unless they are repackaged or can work on. This was like one of the last tapes used. This is 2001. Despite it says 2000, it actually was released in 2001. Like that was when it was released. Visiting the Dot Darth Bear. Um, I actually have another copy with the case. Actually, yeah, two, one case and one that doesn't have a case. Or one that, two cases, but only one other copy. With the other, the damaged copies for sale. Uh, this is the regular copy, my childhood copy. This one was printed. 35th week of 2000 has the 2000 with opening with the Thomas and the Magic Railroad trailer. Pretty cool. This is the, the, the standard reprint or the standard print. This is the Avon copy, which has the Columbia Trust Home Entertainment logo. February 21st, 2002. My other copy is from October 26, 2001, and it's for sale right now. Yes, it's. I don't want it. I have this one, and it's in much better shape. Um, but yeah, the Avon copy. Now this one, unfortunately, I got ripped off with in 2016. Name purchase is the Volume 3 and Volume 1, which that is up for sale. The one I got in 2016 is for sale. This tape I got instead. When I eventually figure out what I'm doing with the other copy, with, you know, with Heroes of the Valley, I'll, I'll, I'll either leave this one out of a case or I'm going to input my child visiting the doctor there in this case. Or whatever, but right now I'm gonna leave it like how it came. But I got the with the wrong case. It gets a Kinmungus exclusive. It really sucks. Video lover, the video lover three has it, but he won't upload it. But yeah, you can see it's the VHS visiting the doctor. But it's Kinmungus. It's the same orders. It's at the Big Blue House Club. It's the same order as this tape, just has picture of health as the bonus. One of the few times where it makes sense to do it that way. Alright, put these tapes to the side. Let's go through my caseless tapes first. Oh, I'll go through that tape momentarily. Here's sharing with friends. And I have two copies of it again. One of my other copies broke, but I have another copy. Is the child a copy, which is not rewound. I know this is the child because it doesn't rewound at all. Oh wow, this one was really. This was a recycle tape. Holy crap! This was definitely my original cop. My original original was cop. The thirtieth week of two thousand one, and this was recycled. It looks like it was actually recycled in the nineteenth week of two thousand seven. Wow, that's crazy. This tape was recycled in the nineteenth week of two thousand seven. And too bad it's not in as good a condition, but it works. And here's the uh, other tape. is not recycled. It's the 21st week of 2001. Here's the case. I'll leave it how it was. What's mine is yours and share, but the, it's the other way around. I wish it was this order, but it's not. There's a... Uh, oh, I do have another copy of Safe and Son. I have not tested this one, but 
you know, I guess my years of waiting. Here's a comparison to the other copy safe that I got on eBay a month earlier. Home video, home entertainment. This is how it should look, or this it should have the home video opening. Seventeenth week of two thousand one, and it has the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo. Really interesting. It has nothing to fear and afraid not, which is the exact opposite of how it actually aired on television. But I guess they didn't want to scare people with a storm first. Um, yeah, the only way you can see these episodes, same as the sharing ones, are on... Actually, sharing ones you can get a DVD from overseas, but it's like almost impossible to find. But this one you can only find... Well, actually, you could get these two, but these are also challenging to get on DVD. The only way, the easiest way to see it is through this VHS. Alright, next caseless copy. Actually, let's do one that doesn't have... This is volume 8. Two thousand reprint, as you've seen, twenty fourth week of two thousand. Doctor Seuss Lover is copies from the thirteenth week of two thousand. If you're watching this, Doctor Seuss Lover, my copy is nine weeks newer, and you can see it, and you've seen the video of my opening. It has the two thousand opening, so you got one of the original, the one of the last of the originals. This is like, and I, I knew it was gonna be the two thousand reprint when I bought it. I didn't care; it was so cheap. That's why I bought it. It was literally six dollars. So I couldn't pass it up. Okay. Now here's another one to compare. Here's my childhood copy of Halloween Thanksgiving, and here's the SP copy. This is this is EP copy as a white screen of death. This copy is SP copy. You can see look how much more tape is on this tape, and this one's so much smaller. Look at it. Just look at it. You can tell this one's EP because of the amount look how much small of tape there is. Columbia Tracer video, but this one has the Columbia Tracer Home Entertainment logo. EP copy was printed uh, the 31st week of 2000. And this one was printed, the this reprint was the 39th week of 2002. Surprised Avon didn't release Halloween Thanksgiving. But I guess they had no part, no business to deal with it. Uh, put this over there. Let's go through this one next. Volume 7. This tape is worn, but it works. I had no idea this was the 2000 version, but I should have figured by this Columbia Christmas Home Entertainment. Like, this is the reissue. I had no idea until just recently. But it's the reissue. It's, you can see the case is in terrible shape. Mouse Party and Bear's Birthday Bash. It has the 2000 um, opening, though. You've seen it in the past. Seventh week of 2004, this tape is printed. This tape is... Yeah, this tape is printed the 7th week of 2004. It's so ironic because I bought it in the same listing as the 1998 VHS of the Volume 3, so my guess is it probably was a replacement copy. The tape's in really good condition, but then again, it probably was, again, a replacement copy and only lasted for a certain amount of time that it sat in storage. But you can see, this one's okay. I'm not gonna go get, get the potty time of there because I have so many different versions to go over. So that tape will have to wait. This one's colors and shapes, but as my child, the copy, the uh, one that came with this case is for sale because I don't need it. I have the shape, sounds, and colors with Bear DVD. And I'm getting another copy. I'll get over that in another video, but I just don't need so many copies of the same exact thing. So I figured I put that one up for sale because I need to free up space. This is my child, the copy. I won't get rid of it. But the other one's for sale. This is the seventh week of 1999. This is definitely my childhood copy. I can tell by the rewind. It's def I know which one's which. Um, I have this digitized, but it's a uh, macro vision. That's why I can never dub. But yeah, I got the reissue, which is rare. Why well, I know the different color and shape of a bear. Doesn't have the copy protection on the thing, but the original one did have it. But yeah, here's the reissue of that. So I've got two reissues. Well, wait. I forgot. I've had another one. Right here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one, though. Volume 3. But this tape I really don't want. And I might even add it in the... I might re, I re, I amend my listing and add this one in there. Volume 3. 
but not keep the cover. I'll sell it without a cover. Either that or I'll probably keep the cover but sell it without because I've got tapes that don't have a cover that could appreciate it. This volume three tape is in, is really heavy and disgusting. Um, it's the reissue, but it's really it's a recycled tape. Here's the back of it. Dancing the way, listen up. That's it came with a lot of the big lot of tapes I got. It's the tenth week of two thousand two was printed originally, and then is the recycled the. the I can't even read that. Pardon. The fifth week of 2006. Yes, Disney sold the Columbia TriStar tapes. My guess is that the Columbia TriStar probably still printed the existing tapes, but they just didn't get the profit from it anymore. That's a tape I forgot to show. I have four copies of Volume 3, but one of them I don't want to keep. This tape and this one, these two right here, are the same thing in terms of tape content. Oh, so speaking of Heroes with the Valley, here's the actual case. There you go. Third week of 2003, and the other tape is the one that's in this case. I digitized this one, by the way. I didn't digitize this one. This one was in slightly worse condition. 51st week of 2002. It's a little bit older, but this one was in better condition. But then again, I haven't. I got this tape uh, five years, almost five years earlier, so it's been with me for the past five years. You know, unlike this one, where I don't know where it's been, what condition it's been. You know, who's used it or whatever. But this here's Woodland Valley. This is a long video. Just grabbing random tapes at this point. Volume one. Oh, this is the Avon tape. Where's the real copy? There it is. I can't show you the back of this case, I can show you the sides. You can see the difference right now. Here's this one. This is actually the case from the 2016 one. The one I got, the 2020 one that smells like a chain smoker. I, I'm put, selling it because this one has some, someone left the previous owner left the address on the back of it. So, and I can't get it off without destroying the case. So I'm keeping it because I'm the type of person who won't leak that crap out. But, so I don't want to end up in the wrong hand. So, but yeah, here's uh, this tape. Unfortunately, this is a recycled tape. The only reason I want it is because it's a macrovision. The other one does, so it doesn't do me anything. This tape was printed... 12th week of 2000, originally, and then the 21st week of 2005. This was probably sold at the Disney store. Or, you know, when Disney... Disney did sell Columbia Tricer tapes. I have a, pic, a screenshot of an eBay listing seal, and it said the Disney store and had the Columbia Tricer tape. Here's Bear the Big Plus Volume 1. Here's the A on copy. May 14, 1999. Pretty good. And this one does have Wi Fi stereo. Otherwise, you wouldn't have heard it as well. Okay, now let's go through a Bear Bear Christmas. Here are both tapes. This one only arrived a few days ago. I ordered this one first, not this one. And this one came first. Here's the uh, SP, the EP copy I have. Here's the back extended play version. It's the Columbia Trust on video. Like it's completely different. The packaging is different. Yeah, you can see it very very Christmas. You can also tell with a small amount of tape. Thirtieth week of two thousand for this tape. Here's this copy. You can see they repacked it and put the Columbia Tristan Home Entertainment, which I don't know why they didn't do it for visiting the Doctor with Bear, but they didn't. Columbia Tristan Home Entertainment logo. Avon tape. This is definitely an SP copy. Because, like, look at that. A very, very Christmas. I haven't even tested it. But it's the Avon copy. That's the Columbia Tristan Home Entertainment logo. Bought this before the listing. Let's go through Columbia Tristar tapes. Volume 2. The only copy I have, I don't have the regular copy of this one at all. I don't. This is the only copy I have, and it's worn. The picture doesn't look as good, but it's an old tape. Volume 2, and this one was printed uh, January 12, 2001. Which is actually around the time I got the other tape. Or the other tape in the listing. So it looks like these were bought in a bulk. But yeah, this is... 
Volume 2. They, I don't think they got a 2000 reprint, so this is the only other means you can get Volume 2. <laughs> it's legit, though. Friends for Life and the Big Little Visitors, the credits are extremely long. That's because the Big Little Visitor has a lot of long credits, normally. So, you know, two together, it's just really long. But at least saw at the end of the program. Let's go through the Columbia TriStar tapes. This may look like I have two copies of Practice Makes Perfect, but open this one up. It's actually Tidy Time with Bear. Didn't get ripped off. Seller acknowledged that it was Tidy Time with Bear, just in the wrong case. But this tape's in really bad condition. I've shown this. Wow. Got tar, it looks looks like tar and crap. The, 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 the film itself has got some damage on it. You can even see in the opening video it changes and it looks muddy and disgusting. Eh, whatever. I only paid $19 for this in volume one and the shipping, so it wasn't like I paid too much money. This 